coverage. It's interesting to me. But the point is that my my plant collection is in the Kew Gardens in London. I guess Gordon Brown could go now and purge them out of the Kew Gardens. Gordon Brown maybe could have one of his fascist socialite socialist socialites uh, go into the Kew Gardens and look for my collections and burn them. He could have a plant burning. Because after all, they're fascist plants, aren't they? They were collected by the evil Michael Savage back in the 1960s and 70s in Fiji and Tonga and such when he was a humble botanist looking for cures from the, uh, from the jungles. They call them rainforests. Now we call them jungles. Uh, it doesn't matter what you call them. I actually did the plant collecting. Now, most of the frauds in the environmental business have never actually been in a jungle. They've been in the jungle in their own mind because they, they think that they're actually Charles Darwin. But they've actually never been in a rainforest, never collected plants, but they think they know more about the environment than I do. They know nothing. Zero. There is no, there is no anthropogenic global warming so far as I can tell. There is no man-made global warming. It's, it's, a, it's a scam to control businesses and impose the highest tax in American history. It'll cripple the nation, destroy us. And yet Obama the genius went to Harvard, lawyer. He believes in global warming. How about me debating Obama on global warming? How about me debating Al Gore on global warming? I, I open this up at any time to debate either of them. You know that Al Gore refuses to debate anybody because he's a liar? I stand here and say before you, definitively, Al Gore is a fraud and a liar, a con man, because he will not debate the people who can destroy him verbally because they know the facts. And I'll give you one fact. Here's one for all of you schmucks who believe that man caused global warming. Okay, schmucks? You hyper-educated morons, here it comes. You don't like what I'm saying? Good. Listen to what I'm going to say to you. Answer this question. Show how smart you are. Go ahead. You're all smart in your drawing rooms there on the Upper East Side. But when you get around someone like me, you fall apart. That's why you don't want anyone like me around you. That's why Gordon Brown doesn't want me in England. Because I could devastate him verbally. I could crush them. With three sentences. Let's start with global warming. Schmuck on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Here's schmuck, genius, PhD, moron, lawyer. Here it is, schmuck. You ready for it? Explain the following. We, there were several ice ages in the history of the, of, the, of the planet. Correct? And so far as we know, several ice ages came and went. The ice, which once went down as far as, almost as far as I remember, down past the Great Plains here in America, maybe even farther than that, covered the earth from the North Pole almost to the equator. And yet the ice receded long before man had invented the uh, internal combustion engine, when there was a very small population of mankind. There were only a few fires here and there. Why did the ice melt? Did it melt because of the Model T Ford? Did it melt because of the SUV? Did it melt because man caused global warming schmuck? Use common sense, putts. Use a fifth-grade education and science to understand you don't know what you're talking about. You people are so screwed up on the left that you actually believe your own lies because you won't let anyone who knows the truth near you. Well, I have to take my hats off to the the people in England. At least the Cambridge Union is willing to listen to the other side. That's more than I could say for Fox News. I'll be right back. Savage. <laughs> 